Anthropic has been shipping fast lately, and today they actually introduced a brand new agentic tool that's called Cowork. And essentially, it kind of mimics what an AI operating system does, because it can control your desktop and manipulate different tasks off of it. It's basically cloud code, but for non-technical users. Cowork is an AI that acts like a real teammate, one that can actually work inside your files, not just chat with you. Right now, it's currently in research preview on macOS, available for Cloud Mac subscribers. And if you do not have that, you can access it through a limited waitlist. You can think of Cowork as the moment Cloud actually turns from a chatbot into a true autonomous virtual coworker, something that you can delegate real work to. Same underlying AI and agent SDK as Cloud Code, but wrapped in a much simpler UI that's designed for everyday users. What makes this more impressive is that Cowork can actually automate desktop work. You can point Claude at a specific folder on your computer and it can actually read it, edit, create, and organize files using nothing but natural language instructions. Cowork can handle tasks like organizing messy directories. You can tell it to extract data from screenshots, create reports from scattered notes, all without a single line of code. Just take a look at it live in action. In Cowork, you can give Claude access to a folder like your desktop, and from there, it can read, edit, and create files inside that space. You can even ask it to build a spreadsheet from a pile of screenshots or generate a first draft from scattered notes while you can work on another task. You can leave this task running in the background, and it is going to execute that for you while you're away. Once the task is set, Claude can create a plan and steadily work through it looping you in along the way, as well as asking for confirmation for taking any major actions so that you stay in control the entire time. Cowork can also use your existing connectors to pull in external information. You can have it paired with Claude in Chrome for tasks that require browser access. Now, like I mentioned, this is still currently in preview, so not everyone will be able to access it due to beta testing, but say if you do have the max plan with Claude, you can actually access it with the Cloud Desktop app only if you have it on Mac OS. Once you have it enabled, you're gonna be able to start using it off of your own device. But if you do not have the Max plan, you can join the waitlist for future access, which should take a couple of weeks to get access. And you just need to simply provide uh, your details within this form, which I'll also leave in the description below so that you can join the waitlist. Before we get started, I just want to mention that you should definitely go ahead and subscribe to the World of AI newsletter. I'm constantly posting different newsletters on a weekly basis. So this is where you can easily get up to date knowledge about what is happening in the AI space. So definitely go ahead and subscribe as this is completely for free. Here is another preview of Cowork in action. This is where Cloud Cowork is actually powerful at file editing. And in this case, you don't even need to know the file names, formats, or even tools involved. You can just simply instruct Cowork to actually describe what you're looking for, something like a video of a squirrel, and Cowork can actually find that file for you. It can understand what the needs are. It can even run the necessary tools like FFmpeg based off of a simple natural language instruction. From there, you can see that there's no command line knowledge needed. There's no video editing experience needed and no conversation workflows to learn. You just describe the outcome and Cowork handles the technical steps behind the scenes. And this is where Cowork really starts to feel like an assistant, more like a junior operator inside your OS that is able to convert effects as well as add different sorts of styles to your video in this particular example. Now I'm gonna play a small snippet, a part of this live stream with a couple of Anthropic employees hosted by Dan Shipper, which I'll also leave in the description below. And what they state is pretty interesting about Cowork. The differences are a bit subtle, but I think that it does make a big difference. So instead of a chat, you have tasks. And when you look at this query, for example, you'll see that Cowork ran for a really long time. If I ask the same query, I want you to go to our every agent native guide and walk through it to do a UX review. Claude would have stopped after a couple turns and given me a pretty good answer, but this does a lot more research. So because it's working on your computer, it's going to be able to work for a long time. And I think that's sort of the key thing that you can take away from when you might want to use Cowork and, and how Cowork might work differently than regular Claude, which is um, for the first time, if you're non-technical, you can ask uh, your computer to do something and walk away for a while. Uh, and then you can also ask it to do many things in parallel. So this is an experience that if you're using Claude code, you have a lot with programming, but I think most non-technical people are still in the kind of like turn by turn era of 
using using chat and just expecting a response almost immediately. And this is much more of an async experience for non-coding tasks like data analysis or research or writing documents, like all that kind of stuff. Like Felix yeah, said, they built this in a week and a half, which is crazy. Crazy. <laughs> which is the new normal, by the way. So anyone who's like coming up with a PRD in two weeks, nope, you ship the whole thing a week and a half. A hundred percent. It's a side note. The creator of Cloud Code, Boris, had stated that all of co-work was fully developed and coded out by Cloud Code itself, which is kind of insane to think of. And the custom connectors that I was talking about basically helps you power co-work to use these different apps that can help you in different cases, whether that is something that lets you connect to AWS's marketplace or a backend system. This is going to give you more flexibility and more plugins to get the best out of co-work. Based off of what I've seen from examples, I believe that Claude Cowork works best in long running sessions. And it is something that can also run asynchronously with multiple sub agents, which is really great for local desktop tasks. This is where in this particular example by the name of Lenny, I'll leave a link to in the description below, who had given access to a folder of 320 podcast transcripts. And he had basically requested Cowork to extract the top 10 most important lessons for product builders and the top most counterintuitive truths about those podcasts. And it was able to actually immediately flag the scope and it was able to also do this task in 15 minutes by scouring 320 different transcripts, which is incredible. And this is a podcast we're talking about, a lengthy podcast of multiple people conversing off of a topic. And you can see how much text it is an AI would need to process. This is just one podcast transcript. There is 320. So think about how fast it needs to actually process these 20 different themes to get out of 320. If you like this video and would love to support the channel, you can consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below. Or you can consider joining our private Discord where you can access multiple subscriptions to different AI tools for free on a monthly basis plus daily AI news and exclusive content, plus a lot more. Now, unfortunately, guys, I am sincerely apologizing for not testing out my own demos. It's because I wasn't actually tested for the pre-beta test, which is unfortunate. But in the future, I would really appreciate if you guys can tag me under many of these different new releases. So it is going to bring more awareness to the Anthropic team to allow me to be testing these different products. That is basically it, guys. I'm really sorry for not testing out my own things. I will try my best to test it out whenever I do get access and post it on the second channel or the main channel, depending on the timing. But that is basically it, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I do recommend that you do sign up for this waitlist so that you can get access. I'll leave all these links that I used in today's video in the description below, including the demos. Make sure you go ahead and subscribe to the second channel. If you haven't already, join the newsletter. Join our Discord, follow me on Twitter, and lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and please take a look at our previous videos because there is a lot of content that you will truly benefit from. But with that thought, guys, have an amazing day, share positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.